welcome back. I have been pre-recorded and <laughs> of so many videos today. I did the Death Battle reaction, which is already up. Uh, the Death Battle prediction. Well, yesterday's who would win. Today's who would win. And now I'm on my Lantern Corps video, which is going to round out my pre-recorded videos for the day. And then I'll probably uh, be pre-recording, which is Tuesday today. Pre-recording at least my who would win for Wednesday. Uh, but this comes from David Atkinson, who asked the question, what is Nolan Grayson, a.k.a. Omni-Man's Lantern Corps? Now, this is a character who actually runs a big gamut here of a lot of emotional spectrums. But let's get a couple of the ones obviously out of the way here right now. Now, I am going not just solely from the cartoon Invincible. I'm not doing just solely that. But I am also looking at the uh, the comics for what it's worth. <clears throat> There's no way in hell he's a gold lantern. He has not been happy his entire life. Uh, he is also not... Act because the Ultra Bites are so long-lived, he hypothetically could qualify for a Life Lantern Ring. But the fact is, they've been doing so much conquering and killing over the years that he, I don't think he could qualify. But likewise, he's not really an emissary of death in any way, so Black doesn't work. Uh, he's not really any good... He's He was a beacon of hope for a while. If we're talking at the beginning of the series, both the cartoon and, and the books, uh, comics, he could theoretically be a beacon of hope. Kind of like a Superman. But, yeah, later on, I guess maybe, but it's, it's, a, this, see, this is where the kind of maybe scenarios could happen. He's not overly greedy, so I don't think about, uh, I don't think avarice would work. He does ultimately gain compassion, so I don't think compassion works either. It's not his dominant trait. And I wouldn't say love, although later on he's definitely more motivated by his love for his family. Uh, I wouldn't call it his dominant trait, though. Uh, like, it wouldn't bypass a lantern ring he currently would have. And Rage is not a lantern ring that I think really works. It doesn't harbor, like, a... Yeah, he gets angry, though. Think, Mark! Think! Like, that means, sure, and he was angry, but that's not, like, what's driving him. That's not his ultimate goal. So, with that said, that leaves us with the Green Lanterns, and this will probably fit pretty well. Strong, uh, overcoming great fear, which as a warrior probably would have easily had to do in his training. Immense amount of willpower, up the yin-yang. So, Will definitely is a candidate. Likewise, though, especially when the truth came out, fear is also a really good candidate. I mean, this guy's is, he is overly, he is super powerful. Omni-Man is super powerful. He's not Superman level power, but as a Superman clone, he is very powerful. Out of the, among the clones, he's among the some of the stronger. Although, like Sentry, which yes, despite the fact the origin isn't the same, he is clearly a Superman clone. Hyperion, um, Plutonium, like those guys are far stronger. But in terms of like the lower tier Superman ripoffs, this guy is definitely uh, definitely strong. But last but not least, and so um, uh, so fear works very much so, especially when he left and they were ready to come back. But beyond that, though, there's also the Atlantic Core of Shame. And I actually think Shame, because Shame, well, okay, it's ultraviolet, and it is negative emotions, but they do believe it's mostly Shame. I think Shame is not, is an interesting option. I don't think it's a necessarily the right option, but I don't think it's a wrong one. What I, let me mean by that is this. Did he feel bad for, like, deceiving his family? Absolutely. That's negative. That's Shame. And then when he came back, and after, it wasn't just even start with him beating on Mark and then realizing what he did. He clearly felt ashamed for what he did to his son. Um, so right there, then he felt shame coming back after he did it and how he hurt his wife. Shame actually could work well, but only in a vacuum and only for a certain chunk of the story. Because after a while, the shame just disappears and he no longer would be a shame land. It, it, he could no longer qualify for it. I mean, granted, it is a pair. It's the probably the most parasitic of all the rings. It's robbing you pretty much of all your free will. I mean, even more so than like the ring of compassion. This thing is literally like a high mind mentality kind of thing. Whereas the other, the parasitic ring of the um, of the indigo lanterns, you still have a personality of your own. It's just you're kind of like mellowed out and neutralized, and you're made. There's no high mind, whereas this one there kind of is. So, while that is, I think, the good third option, I think we got to go either with Fear, Will, or the Lantern Corps of Fear. Between the two, uh, honestly, I probably would go more towards Fear at this point. Uh, not He does gain trust back after a while, and maybe you could make the argument for Green as well. I think they're both, honestly, reasonable choices here. I think, though, once you've 
threw, held your son up in front of a moving subway train and eviscerated the people inside the train with your son. And pretty much turned against the planet. There's not really much coming back in terms of not being scared. Uh, not being scary. So I would, I might go, I'd probably lean fear. That, that'd be my guess. I'd go Will as the immediate secondary option, though. And then Shame as a backup third. It's just my opinion, though. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you folks next time. Have a good one.